The following presentation is brought to you by the Kauai Lifeguard Association, the Kapa'o Rotary Club, DuPont Pioneer, Falaau Productions, and the Kauai Visitor Information Channel, KVIC-TV. Aloha, I'm Jim Saylor, and on behalf of the Rotary Club of Kapa'a, I'd like to welcome you to our fabulous island of Kauai. As spectacularly beautiful as our oceans and beaches are, they're equally dangerous. Please take a moment to watch this short video on ocean safety. Be safe and enjoy your visit. Here's Kalani Vieira of the Ocean Safety Bureau and Dickie Chang to tell you more. Aloha. Thank you, Jim, and yes, we are with our Kauai Fire Department's Ocean Safety Bureau Operations Supervisor, Kalani Vieira. And Kalani, let our viewing and audience know some of the pointers as far as water safety is concerned of the beaches surrounding our island of Kauai. Thank you, Dickie. You can visit our 10 lifeguarded beaches on the island. Uh, it starts on our north shore. We have uh, Ka Beach, that's at the very end of the road. We have a tower at Hyena Beach Park, located right next to the Dry Cave. Two lifeguard towers in Hanalei Bay, pine trees in the Hanalei Pavilion. And on our eastern shores, at Anahola Beach Park, Kealia Beach and Lidgate Beach. On the southern shores, Poipu Beach Park. And we have two lifeguard towers on the west end of our island, Salt Pond Beach Park and Kekaha Beach. The equipment we have at our towers is top of the line. We have uh, wave runners or jet skis. We have all-terrain vehicles, and that really helps us with our response times. Any beach we need to continually stress can change in a heartbeat. That's correct. Definitely you want to educate yourself about the year-round conditions on our island. There's big surf on the North Shore that usually starts from September, October, and goes all the way to the months of March. We do have some big surf on the southern shores during May, June, July, August. It's very difficult to see the rip current if you really don't know what to look for. If you're not familiar with rip currents, as our island changes, we have sand bottom, we have sandbars, we have reef, we have jetties, we have harbors, we have river mouths. That's all the areas that you can find rip currents. One rule of thumb is you can throw a piece of driftwood in the ocean and see what happens to the driftwood. That'll kind of give you a good indication if the water's taken out or going side to side. But definitely, when in doubt, don't, don't go out. Kalani, please uh, you know, recap to our viewing audience uh, some of the, the major points that you want to get across for great, safe, memorable vacation on Kauai. Well, first of all, we want to thank our visitors to coming to Kauai and enjoying our beautiful island. As for myself and my staff, we really want to keep you guys safe, so definitely come to our 10 lifeguarded beaches around our island. We are open 365 days a year. Our hours of operations daily is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Take 20 minutes of your time, observe the conditions, obey all warning signs if possible, have an emergency plan, use the buddy system. Waves can come, knock you off your feet. If you're walking on the rocks, you can get sucked back into the ocean and get in trouble. Same way of walking on the sand. A wave can come, knock you off your feet, and you can get sucked into the ocean and get sucked to the rip current. So if you find yourself being caught in a rip current, first of all, do not panic, relax. Wave your hands for help. Go with the flow. Even the strongest swimmers cannot fight the current. Stay calm, you'll only get exhausted. Ride the current out, and the current will eventually release you and make your way back to shore safely. The bottom line is not to panic. Be sure to pick up one of our beach safety guides here at our baggage claim areas. Thank you very much. Enjoy yourself, be safe. When in doubt, don't go out. Mahalo. Aloha, and welcome to Kauai. I'm here to talk with you for a second about our rescue tube program that we have here for our unguarded beaches on Kauai. First and foremost, our main recommendation is to please swim at lifeguarded beaches. There are rip currents here and our lifeguards know exactly what to tell you about them and how to deal with them. Since 1990, over 200 people have drowned in our ocean. Over 150 of these are visitors and virtually all of these drownings take place at unguarded beaches. I'm also a realist and I know that some of you will venture out to our unguarded beaches. And for that scenario, we have put up these rescue tube stations at over 200 places on Kauai. So if you go to an unguarded beach, take a look for one of those. And what they're for is if you see someone pulled out to sea, what you can do is run up to the rescue tube station, 
grab the rescue tube, call 911, and then you put the rescue tube strap around your shoulder like I have, put on your fins if possible, and then swim out to the near victim and simply hand him the rescue tube and then you can gather yourself and wait for help to come. A word of caution, do not attempt to rescue someone with this device unless you yourself are a strong swimmer. So that's my recommendation again to swim at our lifeguarded beaches and keep an eye open for our rescue tubes. Have a happy and above all a safe stay here on our garden island of Kauai and remember when in doubt don't go out. For further information on ocean safety, visit kawaiiexplorer.com or download the Kauai Beach Guide app for your smartphone. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, the Kauai Lifeguard Association, the Kapa'a Rotary Club, DuPont Pioneer, Follow Our Productions, and the Kauai Visitor Information Channel, KVIC-TV. Have a safe and memorable trip here on our beautiful garden island of Kauai, and we hope to see you back soon. Aloha. We extend a special thank you to Lihue Airport for the opportunity to show this very important safety video. Have a wonderful and safe stay here on Kauai. Aloha.